Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today I'm gonna to be talking about, uh, or telling you about which air backpack you should buy. <music> So full disclosure, Air did send me, you know, each one of these backpacks throughout the last couple of years, um, but they did not tell me to do this kind of comparison bag review at all. Everything I'm going to be telling you about is based on my honest opinion, uh, and yeah, no money has been exchanged or anything like that. So these are just my kind of personal thoughts about which bag you should buy. Now I don't have every single bag in their current lineup, but I feel like I have it like at least like 75% of them. So let's kind of uh, let's start from the smallest and work our way up to the largest. But this is the City Pack, not the City Pack Pro, but the City Pack. This is 14 liters, so it's the smallest end of everything like that. And it is a very, very minimalistic bag. I'm not gonna go through every single detail, but I'll just kind of quickly run uh, run you through um, the features of each of the bags. So again, this is minimalistic. You got a front and zipper right here and a stash pocket right here. When you unzip this, you have a nice full organizer, um, as you will see in the other bags as well. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and yeah, so I really like the organization right there. At the very, very top, there is one large fleece lined sunglasses pocket. And then on the, oh yeah, on the side, there is one water bottle pouch right here. Uh, and the zipper kind of opens up um, almost fully. Uh, but here you have your laptop sleeve at the back. You can put your tablet right there uh, and, and a couple stash pockets. And yeah, this is kind of how much volume and space you can cram into the 14 liter backpack. Uh, onto the back, you just have just a regular sternum strap, um, little uh, Fidlock magnetic latch system right here. Uh, and it does have a luggage pass through. So this is the City Pack. Um, so yeah, so if you're want, wanting just like something very, very minimalistic, carrying on your laptop and a few accessories, you know, this one would be the one to buy. Next up, we have the Air Tech Pack 2. So this one is probably one of the um, oldest ones uh, out of all of these bags here. I think it's about two years old. Um, and uh, yeah, this is 17 liters. It does not have a front accessory pocket. It does have one expandable um, a water bottle pocket there. It does have a small um, accessory pocket right here. Not really big for too many things. Uh, and then on this big front side, you have that big, beautiful kind of front organizer and min section. And uh, yeah, you can put, you know, a small jacket or something like that down this main area. Uh, let's zip that back up. And then on the top, it has that beautiful wide fleece lined sunglasses pouch or accessory pouch. And then you have the main compartment. Oops, almost knocked my beer over. <clears throat> and this one, so yeah, I mean, you have a nice spacious, you know, void here. Uh, you have your laptop sleeve at the back. Um, and then you can kind of put, you, you have some dividers here to put like uh, smaller accessories. But the one thing to note is in, in this main compartment, it's not very, very thick. So don't be, don't think that you can put like a lot of thicker, bigger items in there. It is kind of a little bit more compact. Um, and then the other thing is even though it already has like a laptop sleeve in the back, which is technically a tablet sleeve, it does have an additional kind of pocket at the back for your actual laptop. Um, so yeah, so this one's a little bit more like uh, you can't fit anything big or thick, but it's got, you know, three major divided sections here um, that go down fully to the bottom. So you can kind of put thinner items and, and you know, it has this amazing tech organizer. So a lot of pockets. Uh, so if this is something that you would like, you know, this is the bag for you. But I feel like in the next year or two, they might have the Air Tech Pack 3. So watch out for that. Next up in the line, we have the Air Fit Pack 3. Uh, this one came out just uh, about a year ago. And uh, yeah, so this one's a little bit different, not geared towards, uh, you know, people that are in tech or anything like that. This one's more meant for someone who's gonna be going to the gym. So the big, he, big difference right here is that the main, to access the main thing is a vertical zipper. And you can kind of, you know, put your clothes or anything in here. And the other cool thing I like about this one over the other bags is that it has a dual water bottle pocket. So you can put your umbrella or put two water bottles, whatever you want. And the other cool thing is it does have a ventilated 
uh, shoe compartment so you can put your shoes in there and it's a separate compartment so you don't have to worry about your shoes getting yeah, your other contents dirty. And then lastly, it does have a laptop sleeve at the back. Oops, let's open that up. So laptop sleeve, you got some, you know, a nice little zipper on this one side. A uh, few organizers on the inside, you can put your tablet in there. And it also has a top fleece lined sunglasses pocket at the very top. Oh yeah, and that Fit Pack 3 was about 18.7 liters in size. So moving along, 20 liters. Okay, we got two bags in that 20, in that 20 liter category. Uh, first up, this is their new uh, Go Pack 2. Uh, and this is one of those bags that you can pack. It's, it's so easy that you can just roll it up, pack it up and you know shove it into another bag. And this is one bag I feel like is a bag that everyone should have in addition to whatever bag that they have just because the other bags you know they're kind of substantial even like the smaller one they're substantial you can't pack it away but this one's just so simple and easy and lightweight you can literally just like you know roll it up and toss it away um, hide it somewhere um, you can deploy it anywhere and it's just really really easy I think that the big word is just easy and lightweight it's like instead of carrying a grocery bag you can just kind of carry this and just shove everything in there um, so yeah, I mean, with this one, it's just got this one big, you know, front stash pocket in the front right here. It does have a nice wide, um, you know, pocket for your sunglasses and other accessories. It's not fleece lined though. Um, and it has dual water bottle pockets, which I love. And it does have just this kind of, oh, I'm gonna move my beer. One large main compartment, which you can just stash literally just kind of anything in there. It does have a slightly padded laptop sleeve. Um, but don't expect too much other than that. And it just has a few organizers at the back and at the back right here, you know, it's just very, very soft and comfortable. And it even does have a, um, it does have a, a luggage pass through handle right here. Nice soft back. And this it's just so easy. So I would highly suggest anyone just to get this bag in addition to all of the other bags. Next up in the 20 liter size is the City Pack Pro. This one just came out about a few weeks ago or a month ago. And um, this is kind of like the medium bag, the everyday bag that I feel like I've been using most just because it kind of fits my lifestyle the best. So it does have this, you know, front accessory pocket right here. It also has a front organizer pocket right here. Um, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom like the other bags. Um, and it doesn't have very many organizers, unfortunately. That's kind of like the one downfall. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can still fit quite a bit in here. And uh, you have a water bottle pocket on this one side. You have this kind of one larger accessory pocket on this one side. I kind of wish they had two water bottle pockets. That's just me though. Uh, and then to access the main compartment, it is a lay flat design. So you can kind of open it up just like a suitcase. And uh, yeah, it's, you can, it's yeah, like a little travel bag essentially. You got some organizers right here. You have another organizer right there. Uh, let's zip that back up. At the top, you have that same kind of fleece lined accessory pocket. And you also have a laptop pocket at the very, very back. And you can still cram other documents in there. Um, the one thing I really like about this bag is just that it's just, it's, you know, it's simple. It's a little bit bigger than the city pack. Uh, it doesn't have as much organization, but you know, that's not a huge deal, but you can open up the bag all the way. So you can see everything, you know, if, if you have stuff at the very, very bottom of the bag, you just kind of open it up, lay it flat, and you can just easily organize and see all of your contents. Uh, that's one thing I really, really like about the bag. And it's also just comfortable. I mean, it's kind of similar to the, all the other bags, but uh, yeah, I would uh, highly recommend, I would say that this is probably my favorite bag out of all of them. And if I just only had to get one, I'd go for this one in addition, and I'd also go for the GoPack 2 as well. Uh, but yeah, this is my my favorite everyday carry as of right now. And lastly, the largest of the bunch that I have, there's a larger one, but this is one that I have. This is the uh, Air Travel Pack 3 small version. 
And this one just, again, didn't come out that long ago, but this one is essentially like the City Pack Pro, but bigger, it's 28 liters, and it just offers a lot more. And the reason why I don't use this as my everyday carry is just that it's, uh, it just has a little bit much, some, a lot of bunch of stuff I, I don't need. Uh, so for example, like I don't need these compression straps. Uh, one thing I don't like about this water bottle pocket is that it's elevated higher. Uh, normally it would be sit sitting down here, but this one's kind of higher, which I kind of don't like. It has a side grab handle, which I don't necessarily need. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like some of the major things that it just has, it just adds weight and bulk to the bag, which I don't necessarily need. But this is a great travel backpack though, because if you are looking for a bag that's kind of like a Swiss Army knife to kind of do it all, this one is the one. So let's kind of go through all of the uh, features here or, or just uh, some of the key ones. Has that same front accessory uh, pocket. Um, it has a nice front, I don't really even know where everything is right here. Here we go. The front organizer. The one great thing about this one is it opens up a little bit more than the other ones. So you can pull, pull that flap down and really easily see um, and organize all of your contents. And again, it's large enough that you can throw a jacket or some additional clothing into this front pocket or front area. So that's one great thing about this bag. Uh, next up, let's open up the main compartment. So just like the City Pack Pro, it is a lay flat design. So you open it all, all the way and uh, yeah, you can kind of just store whatever you want. It's kind of like a luggage, um, has a, you know, an additional pop, you know, zippered pockets on the interior of here. Um, yeah, some really great features. Zip that back up. Uh, hmm. Uh, like I pointed out, it has these compression straps just to kind of cinch it up if you don't need to utilize all of the space. Um, a water bottle pocket, um, this a large accessory pocket on this one side, grab handles on either side so you can kind of grab it sideways like that. Uh, at the top, it does have a that same um, sunglasses, felt lined sunglasses pocket. And at the very, very back, there is a, it's kind of large, but you have a uh, laptop sleeve as well as it has this padded pocket at the very, very top. So if you had your laptop charger, or if you want to put a hard drive, a thinner hard drive in there, uh, that's a nice uh, protected area at the very, very back of here. It's kind of tough to see, but it's there. Uh, and the other things that they've included is they have um, onto the, the straps, they have load lifters on the straps. You don't see that in the other bags. And you have just a few additional accessory straps, which you don't see, um, but uh, yeah. And so, so yeah, this is the Air Travel Pack 3 small version, which is 28 liters. So anyways, just to conclude, uh, again, these are just my thoughts and opinions. If I had to choose one backpack, I would go for probably just the City Pack Pro. Uh, just because it's just like the Travel Pack 3 small, but without all of those extra bells and whistles. It's lighter, it's more streamlined, and you know, you can still hold a lot of stuff. And this is pretty much my everyday carry that I've been using for the past little bit. Um, and in addition to that, the Go Pack 2, it's just very, very you know, re useful for everything. You can just stash whatever in there and you don't have to care too much about it. But anyways, if you've enjoyed this comparison video and you want to see me do more, please like and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.